guys, welcome back to World Scenario TV. I'm Gio and I'm alongside Adamo Ritako to preview the Juventus Milan match that will be played this Saturday at the Juventus Stadium. Of course, a very big match for both of these teams. For Juve, of course, they want to increase their gap on Roma by beating Milan, while Milan want to build on that 3-1 win picked up against Parma last weekend. Of course, still hoping to get a European position by the end of the season. Adamo, as I said, very important match for both of these teams. Last time at the San Siro, Milan lost 1-0 to Juventus, of course, in a very close match altogether. But really, in the last 20-30 minutes, Milan was just sitting back way too much, and that Juventus goal was bound to happen. Something that they must change in this match if they want to get a result and maybe play a bit like Udinese did against Juventus last weekend where they held them to a 0-0 draw, of course. Uh, they played a very good game. They didn't sit too much back. They created a lot of chances. Some people may also argue that Udinese actually uh, deserved to get the win against Juventus. But really what I noticed in that match is that Udinese really... Um, Man marked the main man in Juventus, uh, and I'm speaking about Tevez and Pogba. Adamo, do you think this is the right approach to go in order to get a result against Juventus? Man marking is that the key? Well, I think it's definitely it could definitely help out because um, Tevez is obviously one of the most lethal strikers in uh, in the Serie A right now, and uh, Pogba is one of the best midfielders in the world right now in his current form, especially. Um, so I, I do think that could really help out if you close down those players. It's tough to create. It's kind of like when they focus more on Pirlo and you close down Pirlo and nothing would work because he was the person that they would rely on. And those two players are the people that they rely on currently. So I think if we do close them down well enough, it could work out. Um, sadly, with our midfield and defense, if it doesn't work out too well, then, you know, they kind of get by or um, they don't realize the players behind them that they're kind of leaving out in the middle of space. Um, it could be a flaw in that sense. But hopefully if Inzaghi does go with man marking and uh, hopefully he can really use it to his advantage because it won't be an easy job, but it could work out very, very well. And of course, at the Juventus team, it's going to be a very hard task. Of course, Juve undefeated uh, this season at the Juventus team as usual. Eight wins and two ties in ten matches at the Juventus team for Juve, which is a very nice statistic for them. And it's going to take really a lot for me not to get a result against him there. And uh, speaking about players, there are some players suspended for this match. For Milan, of course, Destro picking up a yellow card in last game. He had an accumulation of yellows throughout the season, so he will be missing this match along with Maxess. They're still serving that four-match ban after that incident there with Mauri in the, the, the match against Lazio. And on Juve's side, only Liechtensteiner is uh, missing there for them. And uh, really, he's a main component of that defense, but I'm pretty sure they could do very well without him. Without any further ado, guys, let's look at the probable starting lineup for Milan because Milan will be going once again with a 4-3-3 due to the missing of Destro in this match. And there are some new players that will be playing in this match. So let's start off with Diego Lopez in net. The back four will be composed of Rami, Alex and Paleta in the middle there as the center backs, Antonelli on the left. Midfield made up of uh, Poldi on the right, Essien in the middle, Bonaventura on the left, and up front, Menez in the middle, Cherchi on the right, and on the, on the left. Now, Adamo, you kind of mentioned this at the beginning of the video. It's going to be very hard for Milan to pick up a result with this very poor uh, midfield, especially midfield. Uh, the defense, you know, it's actually not that bad if you look at it on paper. Paleta, you know, a very good center back that could really help out on aerial battles and so forth. Hopefully he brings that form that he had last season. Um, and Antonelli, of course, a very good left back as well that uh, has proven lots of times that he's a very... Um, as I said, good left back for the Serie A that could really make the effort to help the team altogether. Um, but still, this is definitely an issue for Milan because with Essien there in the midfield, you're looking at a very slow midfield. And against the likes of Juve, where they have very speedy players and very smart players that can really change games at any time, uh, really they can hurt Milan in all senses throughout the game. So what do you think about this lineup, uh, Damo? 
uh, of course, up front, I think that's the best you can get. But between the defense and the midfield, what do you think about it? Could it have been better or worse? Well, I think the defense is pretty much set. I think that's as good as it can get at the moment, you know, with current players for him. Um, as you mentioned, Antonelli, he is a very underrated left back. He's actually uh, very fantastic from the games. I used to watch of him uh, this year, last year, and so on. Um, he's actually a very good left back. Um, not too many people look at him, and he deserves more credit. Um, and Paletta, as you mentioned, did have great form at Parma last season, so hopefully, again, like you said, he can continue that form. But like you also mentioned, the midfield is very worrisome for me because SCN alone kind of disrupts that midfield. Um, you could even have the two best players surrounding him, but if you have SCN in that midfield, it's, it's, they're going to struggle because they're facing a very, very strong midfield that Juve have with incredible players that are completely world-class. And um, it's, it's just it's going to be a very tough game. It's going to be very tough. But somehow I think it's possible that Milan could pick up a result here. Because there's teams like, for example, Udinese, they don't have uh, – like, obviously, they do have a decent midfield, but it's nothing spectacular. It doesn't level up to Juve's. So, uh, but they played their cards right, and they went for the nil-nil. So hopefully Milan can play their cards right and uh, really get the result with Juve. Yeah, as you said, it's all a matter of playing your cards right, getting the result, getting something in your favor, of course – and be a bit lucky, of course, the event the same. You'd need that luck in some way or another altogether. Um, as you said, the midfield is worrying for sure, uh, especially the fact that SCN has probably some transfer uh, ideas in his mind right now. Uh, of course, MLS clubs are particularly interested in him, or at least that's what the rumors say. So maybe his mind is somewhere else. I don't know if he's the right player to start. Uh, of course, there's also the option of Muntadi. But we'll see about that. Defense-wise, you know what? I think this defense could actually have a good game. Um, however, there might be some lack in pace, and that is where the midfield will somehow have to help and track back. But, um, you know, as, as we said, it's, it's a slow midfield. It's a slow back line a bit. So hopefully um, things work out well for us and we get a result in the end. Now, finally, guys, let's make some predictions. Adam, of course. Uh, tough to get a win against uh, Juve, but is it possible for you, or we're going to have to settle for less? I think Milan are... I, I do think they're going to want to strive for the win, but I think they're going to end up settling for the draw. You know, maybe like a Milan score early on, like they usually do, and Juve get a late goal, and Milan don't want to push it too much and really risk getting the loss. So I do think it'll be a 1-1 draw at the Juventus Stadium. Yeah, maybe a quick goal for us could be good. I mean, we've had a recent trend of always getting the first goal. However, if we do get it, we must not sit back. Mistake that we made the endless times this season, and we actually have to play the game until the 90th minute. But, uh, Adamo, you, you said a draw. Uh, I would like to say the same, but I find Juventus is just on another level at this time in the season. They're just way up there, uh, really give every team problems. I doubt they're going to repeat a performance against, like they did against Udinese, where they really played poorly. And at the event the same, they're going to try to get back on track. So I don't see Milan either winning or tying this game. Hopefully I'm wrong. Uh, I like to say positive, but I need to be realistic as well. So I think Juve will get a result, maybe 1-0. But uh, other than that, I do hope Milan proves me wrong. So guys, let me know in the comments section what your predictions are. What do you think on the probable starting lineup? Do you think there should be any other players maybe starting instead of some of the names I mentioned? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to Roll Scenario TV to stay updated with everything AC Milan from match previews, reviews, fan reactions, and much more. We've got it all here on Roll Scenario TV. Thank you for watching. This has been Gio and Adamo signing off. And as usual, Forza Milan.